Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, all my brothers and sisters? Jesus Christ, I love you all. Um, this is DJ Elisha Johnson to share another dream that the Lord gave me last night um, with you guys. Um, this particular dream is about coming um, confusion and deception of Antichrist. Um, when the Lord talks about, you know, people will come in my name. And um, they will claim to be me, but do not listen to them. They are Antichrist. Well, the Lord gave me a dream about this last night. Um, I dreamt about this guy who claimed to be the Lord Jesus Christ. For some reason, I was on him like white on rice because of my love for Jesus. I saw that there was a lot of people following him. And I was around him asking a lot of questions for some reason. I was following him too. Now, um, uh, it's like the Lord took out of my mind everything that he said about his return in the Word. Um, and later on in this uh, dream, he brought it back to me. And um, I was able to discern that this dude was a fake. So... I was following him too because I thought he was really him but then I got in his face and I asked him so explain to me are you really my Lord Jesus Christ like is your spirit in this body because you guys this guy he didn't look like uh, like I expected him to look he didn't look anything at all like um the bible describes jesus christ to look um he was a black man and he had dreads and kind of like a five o'clock shadow looking thing kind of scruffy and um he didn't look the way i expected my lord to look so uh i was you know asking a lot of questions you know um, so i thought he was really him but then I got in his face and I asked him, so explain to me, are you really my Lord Jesus Christ? Like, is your spirit in this body? So I thought, you know, like maybe uh, Jesus, my Lord, his spirit was inside this body. And, you know, this was really him. And um, so I asked him that because I really didn't understand why he didn't look like I expected my Lord to look. So, um asked him is your spirit in this body and he was a black man with dreads he began smiling and he said he was smiling like like kind of like you know like he was he knew he was full of it that's the kind of smile it was and um he began smiling and said no it's because of his name his father or parents gave him um, and when he said it's because of, I think he said it's because of the name his father gave him and when he said that the Lord um, spoke to my heart and my mind and what I thought about was Satan I thought about the fact that you know Satan uh, his quote unquote son being sent to earth the Antichrist to try to you know um, reenact or, or copy um, Jesus Christ being sent to earth and um, then growing up and discipling people the Lord he made me think about that and I thought about you know the fact alright so the Antichrist quote unquote Satan's son so Satan being the father sending the Antichrist his son to earth to uh, you know deceive and destroy and rule um, and then because of his name he said that his father gave him the name of uh him is six three score and six um so it that's that's kind of what came to my mind when he said that to me and um so like he began smiling he said it's no it's because of the name that his father or parents gave him and then i was like yo this dude is a fake he's claiming to be somebody he's not so then the Lord brought to my mind when he was born as a baby. And also, when the heck does it say that Jesus will come as a spirit in the body? It doesn't say that. 
that's when that's when at that point I walked away from this dude because I knew it was a fake. And that right there was the point when the Lord brought to my attention, back to my memory, everything that he said about his coming and how we'll know that it's him in the Bible. It talks about the way that we'll know it's really him. And not to be deceived by these dudes or false prophets, these antichrist people who claim that they're Jesus Christ, um, do not be deceived by them. So this dude was a straight phony. The Bible says you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming down on the clouds of heaven. It also says that I will hear of people claiming to be Jesus Christ and people will be like, people will say, here he is or he's over there. But not to go because this is a fake and antichrist. You will know when Jesus Christ comes. The Bible says every eye shall see. So everyone is going to know when the Lord comes back. When Jesus Christ comes on the clouds, everyone's going to know. Because, I mean, it, it's like, you know, he's going to have a grand opening, a grand entrance. Like, it's, it's going to be crazy. Like, never, you've never seen before. So, um, the Bible says every eye shall see. It'll be a grand arrival. This man was an antichrist. I walked away from him. And then I got attacked by a lust spirit. Satan has no power, you guys. I remember also in this dream when I was hanging around him. He had all these different females who looked all like... They looked like they were... I mean, like kind of like cheerleaders. But they were all like half naked and stuff. And... They had everything hanging out, and um, I don't know, this dream was really weird. It was like I had no common sense or something, until after I realized and the Lord brought it back to my memory that this guy was a fake, but there was a lot of girls around him that looked kind of like cheerleaders and stuff, and they were all like, you know, flying around, and they had like, you know, everything hanging out, and um, all these dudes were around them. That doesn't sound like Jesus at all, you guys. It didn't look like Jesus at all. And I walked away from this dude, and then, like, you know, he knew that I knew he was a fake. And it was like Satan, he sent a lust spirit after me and, uh, to try to, like, you know, steal my oil. And um, I woke up and I repented because, you know, I felt so bad. The Lord Jesus tells me, though, he says, do not be afraid. He also says that this is not you. Do not feel ashamed. Do not be guilty because Satan is a liar. This is not you. I have brought you out of this. The old you is dead. You are my son. You are my daughter. And the old you is dead. And you have been, a, you have, you're a new creation. You are mine. And Satan is trying to deceive and trick you, make you feel bad. If he can get you in that place to where you feel bad about yourself, he steals your joy. You don't need to feel bad because the Lord Jesus Christ died for it. You are free. You are free. So Satan, he's going to try to trick your mind. He's going to try to toy with you. He's going to try to say things to you, make you feel bad in order to take your joy. He doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to praise God. He's going to try to do everything that he can in order to steal your joy. So I woke up and I repented. And then I praised God because I thank him for being my savior. I thank him for bringing me out of my sin and dying for my sins and always forgiving me. And I rebuke Satan in the name of Jesus. Alright? So, uh, yeah, this guy was a fake. And um, it's coming, you guys, to where it's already out there, actually. But you'll hear of people claiming to be um, Jesus. And those are in Christ. So I'm going to read some scriptures to you guys from the Bible. What the Lord says about um, in Christ. Um, this is First John 2. 18 through 23.
Deception is of the last hour. Little children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. Even now many Antichrists have come, which we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest, that none of them were of us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and you know all things. I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar but he who denies that Jesus Christ, Jesus is Christ? He is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also. And now you guys, I'm going to read 1 John verse 4. Um, I mean chapter 4. Um, 1 through 5. 1 through 6. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the Spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world you are of God little children and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world they are of the world therefore they speak as of the world and the world hears them we are of God he who knows God hears us he who is not of God does not hear us but this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error all right you guys that was um first john verse chapter 4 1 through 6 and the one before that was first john chapter 2 verse 18 through 23 and now i'm going to read to you guys matthew 24 um, I'm going to read to you guys Matthew 24 15 through 28 and this talks about the great tribulation but it mentions like you know the antichrist and everything and you therefore when you see that the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains let him who is on the housetop not go down to take anything of his house and let him who is in the field not go back to get his clothes but woe to those who are pregnant to those who are nursing babies in those days and pray that your flight may not be winter or on the Sabbath. For then there will be great tribulation such as not been since the beginning of the world. Until, until this time, no nor ever shall be. And unless those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days will be shortened. Then... If anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. See, I have told you beforehand, therefore, if they say to you, look, he is in the desert, do not go out, or look. He is in the inner rooms. Do 
do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the Son of Man become. So also will the Son of Man be. For what? For wherever the carcass is, wherever the carcass is, there the eagles will be gathered together. All right, you guys. So that was uh, Matthew twenty-four, fifteen through twenty-eight. So you guys, that right there was my dream that the Lord gave me last night, and um, I hope it was a blessing to you all. Um, don't be deceived by any Christ who are here and will come and try to deceive you. You will know uh, false prophets. You will know them by their fruits, like the Bible says. Um, so God bless you all. I love you. Um, stay seeking God's face. Stay praying, fasting, and um, continue to finish the race and run because we're almost going home. You guys, we're almost there. Um, Maranatha. Maranatha. Um, so uh, I love you all, God bless, and um, shalom.